Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will focus on the optional module called eFile. With eFile, you can electronically file some forms like the DS-160, DS-260, as well as other forms from the Department of State, Department of Labor, and USCIS. Before we begin, it is important to remember that you must have the optional module called eFile to use this feature. Also, something to keep in mind is that the eFiler is a PC application that you must download to your computer. If you are using a Mac computer, it won't allow you to use the eFiler. However, there are third-party solutions like the Amazon Workspaces that allows you to download a cloud version of the Windows operating system to allow the use of the eFiler. If you would like more information on that, please contact your sales account manager. Let us now log into the caseworker portal and go through how to schedule a completed form, downloading the eFiler, and finally eFiling the form. Let us locate a case with a form that is ready to be eFiled. Once inside the case profile, go to the Form section and locate a form that is e-fileable like the DS-160. The quickest way to identify an e-fileable form is by seeing the e-filing section to the right of the form. If you see text there, you will know that the, this form is e-fileable. We'll explain the text in a bit. Also, if you haven't added the form, add the form and you will see that the e-fileable checkbox is checked. Let us now go into the form. From within the form, we will edit the form, enter information, and complete the form. Once finished, we will click on Save. Once saved, we will exit the form and lock the form so that no one else can make changes onto the form. Once it's locked, you will notice to the right the status bar that says Ready, and a clickable link right below it that says Schedule. What this tells us is the form is ready to be scheduled and sent to the eFiler. When clicked, it will change to scheduled, and we can now go to the eFiler to send this form to the Department of State's website or wherever you are eFiling this to. Now, in order to eFile, you must download the eFiler and save it to the desktop. The reason for the download is the eFiler facilitates the transfer of information between eImmigration and sites like the Department of State. To download the eFiler, we will go to the home page. Locate the eFiling button on the home page. From here, you can go to the bottom and hit the Launch button, allowing you to download the eFiler. On this page, you will also see prerequisites needed to be able to run the software on your desktop. If you are using an older version of Windows, you may need to download and install those prerequisites. A link is provided. An important thing to remember is you don't need to download the eFiler each time you have to eFile. Download it once, and when you schedule your form in eImmigration, Simply locate the desktop application. Now that we have the application installed, let us open it. You will be prompted to enter your software, either eImmigration or eCMS, and your website name. The website name is your distinct URL, which can be found in the eFiling section. You will then see a login page. Proceed to enter your login credentials you use to access the caseworker portal. Once logged in, you will see your scheduled forms ready to be e-filed. Once you've located the scheduled form, you will be prompted to the options on the left. The first option is to view the form, in case you'd like to double check what you're submitting. The next button is e-file, which we'll use to take us to the Department of State's website. And the last button is submit, which we'll use once finished. Let us click on e-file. We are now in the Department of State's website. You will select where you will be applying for this visa. You will then be asked to enter another CAPTCHA according to the selected location. Once you've matched the CAPTCHA, you will now be asked to start the application. Or if you already started an application previously, select Retrieve an application where you will be asked to enter the application ID given to you. Let us click on Start an application. You will be asked to create a security question. You will select one of the options and create your answer. Keep in mind, this question and answer should be pertaining to your client and not the caseworker submitting the form. You will also see your application ID on the top right. Save it for reference. Once you have the info entered, click on Continue. You are now in the DS-160 form. From here, you will notice the Populate Data button has appeared on the top right. Click on it. 
and the info you had on the form on e-immigration will now auto-populate onto the form in the Department of State. You will proceed to click on Next Page button at the bottom and repeat the process until finally submitting and finishing the form. As you can see, the e-filer allows you to take as much time needed in the caseworker portal and transfer that info onto the Department of State's website. Once you are done e-filing the form, you will click on the Submit button on the e-filer. A pop-up box will appear allowing you to enter a reference number. Once you click OK, the form disappears from the list of forms to be e-filed, and the next time you go into the case profile, you will see the status as completed, the date it was completed, and the reference number you've inserted. This e-filing tool also works for the DS-260 and DS-156 forms, USCIS forms like the I-130, N-400, and I-90, and Department of Labor forms like the ETA-9089 and the ICERT H-1B. This concludes our video on the optional module e-filing. Thank you for watching.